everyone welcome back to the channel and here again today we're going to make our my penguin <laughs> Ro here he's my uh, studying villagers together with Hazel and today we're gonna crochet this penguin even though I don't have his uh, original red scot church <laughs> you know, the the red chessboard shirt but i have the same the same one with different color so we're gonna do row today and i put him beside here so so i i'm gonna how to say that proportion him with my shell so i think so the finished size should be somewhere around here not much bigger from his from <laughs> Hazel and Macho. Okay, let's start with. Let's start. Let's start. Let's get started making roll. Oh my god. My my brain is not processing today. <laughs> so, so today we're going to use blue double knitting yarn. So DK, I getting this from a home bargain. Is the name of the store so 99p mm, together with my ego knitting yarn from Thailand so this one is four ply what the, they said this is four ply and actually DK is also four ply is just that this one is more loose why this one is more tighter tighter and as you can see this one is a little bit bigger but if you t if we tied it a little bit more they're just act they're actually the same size so both of them are four ply if i understand it correctly but this one is a little bit more fluffy <laughs> yep so is and i'm gonna use my usual 3.5 millimeters crochet hook and let's get started we're gonna start with the head first i hope I I am hoping that the slightly difference in the yarn side here are not gonna affect much on the pattern. Here it look actually it actually look the same. So basically it's the same size. But this one is a little bit more fluffy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with his head. So we're going to start with a six single crochet into the circle you can do uh, you can do magic ring you can start anyway it's fine as long as you finish the first round with six single crochet in the circle so i'm gonna start with two chain so one chain two chain and six single crochet into the first chain if you don't familiar with this method go with the magic ring is fine it's totally fine one two three four five six slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round do this a little bit so we don't have a big open hole next round we're going to do increased so sing uh, two single crochet into each stitch so single crochet into the same place we do slip stitch earlier so one single crochet and another single crochet into the same stitch So basically two single crochet into each stitch all around single crochet into the next stitch yeah. single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the same stitch to increase single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the same stitch for increase single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the same stitch and we are repeating this until the end of the round and we should have uh, the total total of 12 stitch, stitches 
and because we do slip stitch we see that we are approaching the end of the round slip stitch on the first single crochet that we are doing slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round next round we are going to do single crochet and then increase single crochet increase single crochet increase so one single crochet two into the same stitch one single crochet and two into the same stitch so one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier one single crochet increase two into the same stitch another one to the same stitch one single crochet into the next stitch two into the next stitch one and two one single crochet and two into the next stitch one and two one single crochet and two into the next stitch this one to the same stitch and if video is playing too fast going to the setting in the corner of the videos and set the playback speed into 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 to slow the video down and increase did I miss? I, I, I cannot remember did I increase here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay oh slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round slip stitch one chain to start the next round and uh, next we are going to do single crochet into the next two stitch and increase one two and two in the same stitch one two and two into the same stitch repeating this six time all around so one single crochet another one in the next stitch and increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and it's okay if it look a little bit like a what is this hexagon like the sick <laughs> what is what is the what is this called what is this six corner chief core Hex. yep hexagon <laughs> it's fine if it look a little bit like a hexagon like an edge we we'll, we didn't do the coaster anyway so this is not gonna show next round is single crochet into the next three stitch so one two three and increase one two three and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase and 
repeating this to the end of the round two and three and increase one two three and increase slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round next round we are going to do single crochet into the next four stitch and increase and if you can see the trend i am doing increase all around on the second round and then one single crochet increase two single crochet increase three single crochet and increase so next round is four single crochet and increase and if you want to make your door bigger go five six seven until it expands to the size that you want so next round we are going to do single crochet into the next four stitch so one two three four and increase so two into the same stitch one and two one two three four and increase so two single crochet into the same stitch here and one two three four and increase two into the same stitch one two three four and increase two into the same stitch one two three four and increase two into the same stitch one two three four and increase slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first single crochet of the, of the round and one chain to start the next round okay I am satisfied with this size so next for the next couple of rounds I'm just gonna do single crochet all around so sing, one single crochet for each stitch all around for you know on the screen how many round it going to be so next we just gonna repeat it I'm just gonna uh, I'm I am going to speeding this up after finish this round but basically we just do one single crochet into each stitch all around for how many rounds that did you on the screen yep yeah. one and one one single crochet one single crochet all around one single crochet into each stitch and I'm going to speeding up the video I'm gonna speeding up my speed and also speeding up the videos and we'll see you again when I finish
Okay, I just finished round 11. Yep, round 11. And next round, we are going to start decreasing. So we stop the increase at four single crochet, then increase. So in order to decrease the work, we also do single crochet into the next four stitch and then decrease or single crochet two together. What is that? Okay, uh, single crochet into the next four stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and then we are going to do single crochet two together to decrease the stitch. So after you hooking the yarn through, you hook the next stitch as well and hook it all through like this to make the decrease or single crochet two together single crochet into the next four stitch one two three four and then decrease and decrease like that one single crochet two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round next round we are going to do probably the neighbor, my neighbor oh, turning on the music so loud Okay, next round we are going to do single crochet into the next three stitch and decrease. So you will we will do four, three, two, one until we close this this guy hit. <laughs> the next round one single crochet into the next three one two three and decrease one <laughs> two three and decrease one two three and decrease One, two, three, and decrease. One, two, three, and decrease. One, two, three, and decrease. slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round and 
next round we are going to do single crochet into the next two stitch and then decrease and repeating that all around so one single crochet two single crochet decrease one single crochet two single crochet and 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 decrease slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round next round we're just gonna repeat this pattern so it's three two one single crochet into the next stitch and decrease single crochet into the next stitch and decrease one single crochet and then decrease one single crochet and decrease one single crochet and decrease and repeating this all around one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start the next round and before we going further i'm just gonna stuff the fibers in his head here come the fibers and be generous when you stuffing the fibers into a 3d three-dimensional doors so this this type of polyester fibers it it will clumping up when the time pass by so if you don't stuff it very tight very generous your when the time pass like five or six year it will shrink and it will look ugly so we have to stuff this very very generous but if you're gonna do this for selling <laughs> you may you may not want to stuff it too much to reduce the cost but i suggest you stuffing it very tight anyway and by uh, stuffing this very tight it help holding the chair of the head and sometimes because you didn't spread the fiber inside like equally your head your your doll head shape may be like misshape because of the uneven fibers inside
Next, <coughs> next round, uh, we're, going, we're going to decrease all around. Uh, the next is going to be the last round of this part. So decrease two single crochet two together all around. And be careful not to hook the fibers. Decrease all around. And slip stitch to close the round. We will have a little open hole here. You can sew in this close. You can sew this hole close. But I'm just gonna lift it because we're gonna... This is the head, right? We're gonna make a body here. So no one's seeing this. So I'm, just, I'm just gonna lift it there. And cut the yarn and fasten off. I'm not gonna lift much of the yarn because we don't gonna sew anything with this part. So just only around here and stuff the remaining inside. Okay, and now his head is finished. This look promising. Next, uh, I'm going to do his his mouth. What is that called? <laughs> Beak. A peck or a beak? A B B E A K? No. Pick. No. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna translate it. Mandible? No, it's a beak. B E A K. Yes, it's a beak. <laughs> okay, next part is the beak, which is yellow. I have yellow. Actually, it's kind of yellow. It's orange. This is kind of like a yellowish uh, orange for his mouth, uh, his beak. Okay, before we crochet, let me mark the possible location. I think the beak should be around here. The beak should be around here, here to here. Yep. So I'm just marking the where the beak should be. I think this this will do. I'm just gonna be his eye. Yep. So this one is from Hobbycraft, the same DK yarn. For the beak, I'm going to start with single crochet into, no, four single crochet into a circle. So we're gonna start the usual way, two chain, one chain, two chain, and four single crochet into the first chain. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, 
four single crochet slip stitch on the first chain so for this part if you're not uh, if you're not what is the word <laughs> oh my god I forgot the word so slip stitch one chain to start the next round so if you're not familiar with if you're not comfortable working on a very small number of stitch per round like this you can skip the slip stitch and one change and just work on spiral it's fine for this piece but I'm just gonna stick with my usual slip stitch and one chain you can skip it it's fine next round is single crochet increase single crochet and increase one single crochet increase in the next round one single crochet and increase showing the right side out and slip stitch to close to round slip stitch to close to round one chain to start the next round next round we are going to do I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep single crochet and increase so one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round now we have a little bit triangle yep let me know next round is single crochet into the next two stitch and increase so one single crochet two single crochet and two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet and increase two into the same stitch slip stitch to close the round and one chain to start next round Next round is going to be our final round. Is it going to be too long? Well, we'll. one third. Next round is single crochet into the next three stitch and increase. And that should be the last round. One, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, and increase. One, 
one, two, three, and increase. Slip stitch to close the round and that should that should be it. Yep. Leave quite a long tail of yarn for sewing and we're gonna cut the yarn and fasten off. So I'm not gonna hand squeeze it to touch up and down and here I'm just gonna let it a little bit left a little space here so and so there so this one is one two three four four stitch apart from this side and one one two three four five six seven seven stitch on this side and we're just gonna pin this so it doesn't move me be careful not to move out uh, once you satisfy with the position use the pin to pin it and be careful not accidentally moving it while you're putting the pin in okay yep yes um, just going to quickly sewing this I think the, the beak is too big. I should put it a little more. That's fine. That's fine. Next, uh, his eye. His eye. Okay. For the eyes, I'm going to do single crochet. Uh, five single crochet into the circle just that for the eye so two chain and yes you can do magic ring <laughs> you can start with magic ring it's fine and five single crochet into the first chain one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet and five single crochet slip stitch to close the round i know this is gonna be very hard to see on the camera with the <laughs> black yarn and pull it to close the pull and leave quite a length of yarn for sewing cut this off fast enough and make two of them make two of this 
if you feel that five single crochet is too big you can reduce it to four but if you think uh, five single crochet is still too small you can increase to six yeah this is you can adjust it and this is our eyes i'm just going to sewing this into the place and then using the white yarn to make a chain stitch around here so we're not going to crochet the the white part we're going to embroider it Now you kind of look like Pingu. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I stopped by over here to make a nostril before coming back to sewing the eye. I'm gonna let you know in the camera this blue is a lot brighter than what I see of the camera. <laughs> it's really dark right now, oh my god, it's so hard to see. Next, we're going to do chain stitch to make, uh, you know, the white, so the white eye, his white eye. <laughs> so in order to do the chain stitch, first you just, it's really easy. You wrap it like that and and put the yarn, put the hook through here, align it with the shape of the black eye. And Put the needle over the yarn and pull this. And it's gonna look like one small chain. And just put this on the left. Put the needle into this. And a little step here along the eyes and you pull this. And then you make another chain. I'm not good at explaining this. You can go, you can search chain stitch embroidery. There's a tons of uh, tutorial how to do it on you know the embroidery tutorial where they do it on the fabric, so it's easier to see. So we just insert the needle here and going up here. And make another chain around his eye and repeating this until it surround his black eye Okay, next we are going to do his body. Instead of starting with, we're going to do two color at the same time. So the 
this will involve color changing along the way and instead of starting with blue I'm gonna start with white since his bottom is white I'm checking I'm already checking that so we're gonna start with wh uh, white yarn single crochet uh, six single crochet into the circle and for the first couple of rounds, I think around six or seven round, we're gonna we're gonna do the exactly the same thing as his head all the way down here, but it's gonna involve uh, color changing because Ro have his uh, white belly, so we're going to start. If you're missing anything you can refer back to his head part and okay let's get started six single crochet into the circle so two chain one chain and two chain six single crochet into the first chain one single crochet two single crochet Three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and six single crochet. Slip stitch to start, slip stitch to close the round, and one chain to start the next round. Hold it tight. And round two. In round two, we are also still gonna stick with white yarn. So round two is increased two single crochet into each stitch all around. So one single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. Another single crochet into the same stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. One into the same stitch. One into the next stitch and one into the same stitch. Repeating this all around. One to the next stitch, one to the same stitch, one to the next stitch, and one to the same stitch, one to the next stitch, and one to the same stitch. Slip stitch to close the round, and one chain to start the next round. Okay, next round is the round that we're gonna start incorporate the blue yarn. So let's prepare the yarn. Okay, this got, we, I'm gonna go a little bit slower on this part because I didn't have, I didn't try this. I'm just making it. I don't have the pattern in hand. I ha just have the idea of how to make it. So let's start with. Hmm. Okay, this round is one one single crochet and then increase and repeat all around. But now I have to figure it out where to change the color. Uh, you guys gonna know it. It's already type on the screen. So one and increase. Um, That's quite a lot. Okay, another one and increase. Doing this for three times already. So we are doing one single crochet and increase, and one single crochet. But before we increase in. The next, the next stitch we change the color to the blue. So instead of hooking the same white yarn to finish this stitch, we hook the blue yarn instead. And next stitch is increase. So one single crochet into the next stitch, 
and one into the same stitch one single crochet into the next stitch one into the same stitch one into the next stitch and one into the same stitch and here before we finish the last the last the last stitch we hook white yarn and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round I hope I'm hoping I am hoping that hoping that I'm sure the right position to change the color <laughs> okay Maybe it's easier to just do the white separately. That's fine. Just gonna stick with this. Okay. Let me take a note. Let me take a note on my pattern book. Next round, we are going to do single crochet into the next oh wait single crochet into the next three two into the next two stitch and increase so single crochet into the same stitch single crochet number two and this one is increase increase one single crochet two single crochet and increase one single crochet two single crochet increase one single crochet and before and here we hook the blue yarn instead and increase is it no I had a one single crochet into the next stitch and then increase in this stitch one single crochet two single crochet and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet increase two into the same stitch and before we finish the last stitch we hook the white yarn instead we hook the white yarn to finish this stitch and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round Next round, we are going to do single crochet into the next three stitch. So, one, two, three. Increase two single crochet into the same stitch. One, two. Uh, single crochet into the next three stitch. One, two three and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet into the next three two three and increase two into the same stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch here before we finish this we hook blue yarn and single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch then increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and then increase two into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and increase 
moves and last the last increase we hook white yarn to finish the stitch and then slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round I think we need I need to pull it okay. okay next round we're going to do decrease first first thing first is decrease here and then single crochet into the next two stitch one two and increase single crochet into the next four one two three four and increase two into the same stitch so one and two into the same stitch single crochet into the next four two three four and decrease two together but instead of hooking the white yarn we hook blue yarn instead we hook the blue yarn in and here we do increase and single crochet into the next one two and increase again single crochet into the next four two three four and increase two into the same stitch one two three four and increase let me count this way Okay, uh, we are going back a little bit. So after increase here, I'm going to do one single crochet and increase. And one, two, then increase here. And this should do. So, so, Okay. After we two single crochet into the same, after we de uh, increase here. Next, we are going to do single crochet into the next two stitch. So one single crochet, two single crochet. Then we're gonna increase. So single crochet into the same stitch. Two single crochet here, and then next we uh, 
wait, V to, yep, increase to single crochet, increase to single crochet, and increase. To single crochet, and increase. Then single crochet, and increase. Two into the same stitch. Single crochet and increase again. And single crochet into the next two stitch and increase. Okay, I know it's confusing. Why? <laughs> and then we hook the white yarn to finish this stitch and slip stitch to close the round. Okay, here at this at this round after finishing this we should be able to count the stitch and it should be 36 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Yep, we should finish it with 36 stitch. Uh, next row. <laughs> okay, for round 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, for round 7. Overall, we're not going to increase or decrease the... The number, the total number of stitch per row, but we're gonna start with decrease. We're gonna start with decrease here, so we can see the the blue yarn when we're going up. And single crochet into each stitch until the end of the white yarn. So just one single crochet into each stitch. One single crochet each stitch and at the remaining last two stitch we decrease again two single crochet together oops and instead of hooking the white yarn we hook the blue yarn to finish this round and here we decrease so two single crochet into the same stitch because we uh, decrease here so we increase here to to make sure that the uh, the row numbers the total number of the stitch per row is still the same so one single crochet into each stitch until we reach the last stitch. One single crochet, one single crochet all around. And on the last stitch here, we do increase because we start the round with decrease. So two single crochet into the same stitch, and on the last stitch. Again, we hook white yarn to finish the stitch and slip stitch to close the round. This one, slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. So, from this round onward, yep, we just gonna, we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch. And just change the color according to the previous row. No more decrease or increase. So one single crochet into each stitch. And when we reach here, switch to blue yarn. And one single crochet into each stitch. 
all around. Oops. Here we go. White yarn here. And slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. Okay, let me take a note. One more round before we we're gonna change the color to the chart color. So single crochet into each stitch. blue yarn and single crochet into each stitch Okay, as you can see, I cut off the yarn because I think we reached the point that we should put, uh, we should make the shirt, yeah, the shirt, the top part where he wearing red shirt. And I, actually, I really, I really want to narrow the white line a little bit, but. I'm just gonna love it be I don't want to redo it any again and this one is not it's not that ugly it's just still looking okay okay so before we finish the last stitch of the round 
so we're not hooking the white yarn we're gonna hooking the new yarn color which is red i know this look quite orange in the camera because it's night time right now <laughs> so the color is a bit off but this is red so we hook the red yarn in and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and if you are concerned about uh, the tail here just tie the knot inside it's fine just tie the knot inside here and everything is secure okay so I'm going to try to mimic this pattern on his shirt by doing something like this and I'm gonna redo everything this is, I'm trying it off camera to make sure that it works so we finish the round by slip stitch and one chain to start the next round right we I put the black yarn here putting there and just kind of putting putting it halfway like that and we are going to do normal single crochet into the same stitch and make sure that it wrap the black yarn so the plan is we're going to do a next we're gonna move this black yarn in the front like this and single crochet into the next stitch while the black yarn is here so now we're doing the single crochet at the back of this black yarn now I'm gonna move the black yarn here and I'm gonna do single crochet into the next stitch while the black yarn is behind the red yarn so I'm gonna do two of this and single crochet into the next stitch this is so two single crochet in front and one single crochet at the back and we're gonna repeat that pattern all around I don't know what it called <laughs> I'm just thinking this up just a moment ago uh, two in the front and one at the back so we crochet at the back of the black yarn and then two at the front so this this round basically we just do one single crochet all around but we play with this black yarn to create try to create this type of pattern of course it's not gonna look like that but I think it's gonna look similar so two in the front two in front of the black yarn and one at the back of the black yarn and two in front of the black yarn and one at the back two in the front like that and one at the back And repeat we're just repeating this all around and you know what I'm just realized I can <laughs> it would be e a lot easier for me if I just do a stripe <laughs> the stripe uh, I think I saw one of row photo photo where he wearing a red and white stripe you know if this is too this is too much pain <laughs> <laughs> you can switch to doing that but I'm just, I'm just gonna stick with this to the end because I'm starting this I have to I have to believe in myself that I can do this where did I and be careful not accidentally increase like I just do so one at the back and two in the front Back one, 
two, one in the back, and two in the front, one in the back, and two in the front, in front, one back, two front, uh, 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 <laughs> two front, one at the back, and two in front. And here I'm just gonna lay it outside. And No, maybe the last one, I think the last one should be in front so we can see it and put it inside and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round and I'm gonna keep doing this and try to put the black yarn in the same stitch as the earlier so one one single crochet all around one single crochet and black yarn in the front one single crochet and two here two here and black yarn and then two over here good will this look okay yeah it's gonna look okay <laughs> it's going to look okay if it's not looking okay i'm just gonna change it i can i can fix that it's fine two one and the front two to the front and black yeah and at the back and two over one black yarn in the front and black yarn inside and repeating this Yarn in the front, and black yarn at the back. Yarn in the front, and front. and make sure we pull the the black yarn that is so it all a straight line. Front and this one is out. And this one is in the back. Right. Yes. And slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. 
and we're just going to keep repeating this until around here so I think two two more round three more round you have about two or three more round before we start decrease so just one single crochet into each stitch along with this black yarn <laughs> get used to it it's kind of easier easier to do and I'm just gonna <laughs> this this part use a lot of concentration and focus you know if I I try not to talk much here so I don't lose So we don't make the mistake because the memory is going nearly full again. I have like half an hour left for this, which I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for that. Wait, wait, wait. It's too in front. So basically this is just one single crochet into each stitch and we make the pattern of his shirt. Now we are going to start decreasing. Just decreasing and single crochet into the next four stitch and decrease. At the same time, we try to maintain this black line. Not sure how things are gonna work, but this will work. Uh, Single crochet into the next four stitch. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and uh, <laughs> four 
for single crochet and then decrease so I try like that decrease once one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet and decrease I'm just gonna put this over here and decrease One single crochet. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Two single crochet. Three single crochet. Four single crochet. Decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet. One single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, and the Huh. Okay. Something. Something wrong. <laughs> okay. Probably something wrong. Somewhere. It's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's one stitch extra. Probably somewhere during this time <laughs> I'll put the pattern in up there I don't know where I don't know where did I do wrong oh my god so uh, so now we have one stitch extra I'm just going to Decrease it all together. <laughs> Decrease it all together with this one. So instead of hooking three, um, oh no, no, you're gonna, you guys are gonna be confused if I'm doing that. So.
just gonna let it okay wait No, it's fine. So instead of doing two together in the last stitch, I found out that I increased one extra stitch somewhere. So I'm just going to do three, three single crochet together. Single crochet three together. This is a little bit brute force, but it's fine. <laughs> Slip stitch to close the door to close the round and one chain to start the next round. I have to Okay. Next round we are going to do single crochet into the next three stitch and decrease while trying to maintain this black pattern uh, one single crochet two single crochet Three single crochet and decrease. A and decrease. Why the black is today? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Uh, one single crochet. Two single crochet, three single crochet, and decrease in and out and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet. Is it? Did I do the? Did I do the right? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm so confused. Wait, where am I? <laughs> one, two, decrease. No. One, two, three, decrease. One, two, three, decrease. One. Two. Three. Decrease. And decrease. One, uh, two, three, decrease. One, two, three, decrease. Two, three, 
three. Decrease. Okay. And slip stitch to close the round. It really confused. <laughs> okay, and I, I saw myself missing the, the black yarn over here. Um, yep. From place to place, but it's fine. I'm not going. I'm not going to fix it. I'm not going to redo this round. It doesn't obvious. No one know. <laughs> we can fix that later. Okay. Um. Almost there. Almost there. Next round. Okay. Next round, we are going to do a single crochet into the next two stitch and decrease. And yes, trying to maintain this black pattern. I shouldn't do this. <laughs> I shouldn't do this. Okay, one single crochet. Two, 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 two single crochet this one in the front two single crochet decrease one two decrease one single crochet e Two single crochet and decrease. Wait <laughs> and decrease and decrease single crochet two together. Guys, don't doing this. This is torture. This is torture. One single crochet, two single crochet, and decrease a oh my goodness, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, and de de decrease here, and I decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, and decrease. One single crochet, two single crochet, sorry, and decrease and uh, Slip stitch to close the round. Oops. Wait, wait. Okay. 
Last round. Actually, I won't. If, if I didn't have this pattern, <laughs> I think I, I may stop here. But yeah, last round. So, last round. Single crochet and decrease. One single crochet and decrease all around. Decrease, decrease that. We should pull the last round first. A what <laughs> next? <laughs> One single crochet. Decrease. One single crochet. Decrease. One single crochet. And Decrease. One single crochet. And decrease. One single crochet and decrease. Oh, and slip stitch to close around. Yeah, with a uh, left quite. I'm gonna left quite a bit of black yarn here so I can. work on the line and a little bit of red yarn not as much as black for sewing no we're not fast enough yet no we have to slip stitch to close the round first here Slip stitch to close the round. Fasten off. This is torture. <laughs> this is torture. Okay. First thing first, if you want to make a, a pattern like this, instead of doing what I am doing, I say I would say you're just putting the black yarn wait where is the needle okay just putting the black yarn in the needles and so sew, sewing the pattern or embroidery the pattern after it don't do it like this this is so confusing torture okay I'm just gonna make since I'm Making it this far, so we have to continue doing that. So, I'm just gonna remove the hair first, and so I'm gonna running my with this uh, needle up and down along the black. along the black line to create a vertical line can you see it we have to see it eh.
like that. Huh. <laughs> okay, and popping up here. Up and down around here. I'm not going to do this all around. I'm just going to do it only the front so I have a beautiful footage. Uh, a beautiful cover picture. And oh my god, guys, don't do this. This is torture. This is torture. Don't doing this. Believe me. <laughs> just just doing like white uh red white red white red white up that would that would save your life or just plain plain red or other 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 outfits don't doing this oh my god this is torture now I'm confused <laughs> down here up there mm -hmm. Well, if you want to do kind of this kind of pattern, I'm not sure when the when did the camera go off. So just do plain red and embroidery this afterward is easier don't do like what i'm doing here <laughs> but if you want to experience what i have experienced in the past hours <laughs> i think it's nearly an hour of doing just this so feel, feel free to try and comment down below telling me how you feel <laughs> <laughs> or do you enjoy the process? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna stick with this, and it's actually looking like one of the church in the game. Where is? I think it's more like like the orange sporting sport shirt, some something like that. And okay, after stuffing the fibers, this is so round. And we going to sew the head and oh MG he look like he look like what he look like in the game. I'm so happy right now how it, cute he turning out. Well yeah, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna sew in this. No more talking. I'm actually start to have a saw draws. <laughs> I should be. I should stop talking today. Next, we are going to do. Uh, we are going to make his wing. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna start with blue yarn and four single crochet into the circle. So I'm gonna start with two chain. One, two, I think I should go and putting this down a little bit. Okay. One, two chain and then four single crochet into the first chain. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. Next round is single crochet into the next stitch and increase. One single crochet and increase. So single crochet in <clears throat> into the same place that we do slip stitch earlier and then increase two single crochet into the same stitch another one to the same stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and one to the next stitch and one to the same stitch to increase we put this showing the right side and slip stitch to close the round slip stitch here E, e, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, before we finish the last stitch, I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna change to red yarn. So we hook the red yarn in to finish the last stitch. Slip stitch to close the round. And one chain to start the next round. So at, it, at this point, I'm just gonna cut the blue yarn because we don't use it anymore. Next round is single crochet into the next two stitch and increase. So one single crochet, two single crochet. And then increase two into the same stitch. One, two to the same stitch. Two crochet into the next stitch. One and two. And then increase two into the same stitch. One and two to the same stitch. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. Next round is one, two, three, then increase. I think I just knocked the camera. <laughs> so one single crochet, two single crochet, and three single crochet. And increase two into the same stitch. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and increase two into the same stitch. Slip stitch to close the round. One chain to start the next round. Now from this round, we're just gonna do one single crochet into each stitch all around. I think it's 10, 10 all around. So it's one single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, yep. So just single crochet into the next ten stitch, slip stitch, and one chain to start another round. And we repeating this until round eight. 
so this is five this is around six so three two more round just gonna speed up the videos And one chain to start the next round. We are at line two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Next round, the last round for his wing, a single crochet into the next three stitch, and then we decrease. So, one, two, three, and then single crochet two together. one two three and two together slip stitch two close around and leave some length of yarn for sewing make two of them so this can be row wing okay let's moving fast my memory uh, is almost full. Next is his feet, his foot. We're gonna use the same yarn uh, as we use for his beak. So you're gonna use the same color and starting with four chain. Four chain one chain two chain three four now we have four chain uh single crochet into the second chain from the hook which is here one single crochet and single crochet into the next chain three single crochet into the next chain so in this stitch we do three single crochet one two three and single crochet into this chain into the next chain and then we do two single crochet into the last stitch here so one and two slip stitch to close the round slip stitch on the first single crochet that we do earlier one chain to start the next round and next round we're going to start with increase so two single crochet into the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier one single crochet and two into the same stitch single crochet into the next stitch and then increased for three times so two single crochet into the same stitch for three times this one is two single crochet into the same stitch and one two into the same stitch one and two into the same stitch and single crochet into the next stitch and then increase for two times for the remaining two stitch single crochet and then another single crochet into the same stitch single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the same stitch slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round And next round, we are going to work with back loop only. Back loop. So here, I hope you can see it on the camera. So normally when we crochet, we put the hook through this, right? To both of the loop to create this, to make a one stitch. But in this round, instead of hooking the hook through here, we're gonna hook it through back loop only. So this is the front loop and this is the back loop. So we're just gonna work on the back loop here all around. So we're gonna start round three with decrease. So we're just gonna do it on back loop only. Start with the stitch that we do slip stitch earlier. Hook it, but, but instead of 
creating single crochet we hook it through the next stitch as well and on the back loop and then hook it through together to create single crochet two together or so-called decrease next stitch is one single crochet into this and next this is this is a little bit tricky next is half double crochet two together so we do so we do decrease but with half double crochet so in order to do half double crochet you yarn over like that hook it through the back loop and hook this out this is halfway through the half double crochet normally if you do half double crochet you just hook this through but we're gonna do decrease so we're gonna yarn over again and hook this to the back loop and hook the yarn out so now we have five over the hook and hook all through now we have half the book crochet two together and we're doing this uh, in total of three times we already do one we're gonna redo that again for a two for two more times so yarn over hook this through the half uh, the back loop hook it through now we have three on the hook yarn over and hook it through the next stitch on the back loop now we have all five hook all through to create half double crochet through two together and do it another time for the next one and yarn over hook it through and there next we next is single crochet into the next stitch and two decrease single crochet two together if you have a problem with uh half double crochet you can do just uh this single crochet two together instead but try to make it bigger <laughs> it's gonna change a little bit but it's fine and slip stitch to close the round one chain to start the next round we have next round yes and because we do a single crochet in on the back we work on the back loop only so we can see that the the work is just the sole is flattened and this one we're just going up which normally doesn't happen normally however we decrease or increase is will gradually up and down but because we are doing back loop only we kind of making a flat sole for his feet okay next oh, I only have two minutes left <laughs> next is single crochet into the next two stitch so one single crochet two single crochet and then two decrease single crochet two together for two times just a normal single crochet and another time single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next two stitch one two then slip stitch to close the round and leave some length of yarn for sewing now we finish his feet it will look a little bit odd at first but all you have to do with the feet is just flatten the sole just flatten his sole and you got this chip of the feet make two of them and so we can sew into this and i think with this this type of of feet you can also make him stand if you want i'm gonna make him sit or should i make him stand yep the last piece the last piece is his tail does he have a tail okay for his tail i am going to start with four chain so one chain two chain three chain and four chain and i decrease the resolution of the camera recording because <laughs> 
I'm almost the memory is almost full. Uh, next is single crochet into the second chain from the stitch uh, from the hook. One single crochet like that, half double crochet into the next stitch, and double crochet into the next stitch. And that's it for his tail. Leave a little bit of yarn for sewing. And I don't think I can sewing things in front of the camera because here this is a tail. Little triangle tails. Ah uh, and this is the hooking and the foot. I'm gonna sewing this off the camera because I only have like three minutes left in the memory. And we'll see you again when i when he's finishing. And we are finally finished. This is row. And here I sew the his small tail and he can sit. Yay. Well I'm I, I'm really happy how he turning out. He turning out so cute. I think I should move the tail backward a little bit, but yeah, it's so cute. And last message: Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do this type of uh, making a pattern on the on the shirt. That's a torture. And yeah, we finish. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Comment down below what do you think about this tutorial and what do you want to see me doing next and which penguin from Animal Crossing are you want to see since I have the all the structure, you know. Which penguin is your favorite apart from Ro? And I'll see you again next time somewhere soon thank you so much for watching and if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe i am on the track i am on the track of reaching 30,000 subscriber in order to enable the join yes the join button so if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and share this video to your crochet community or amigurumi community and i'll see you again soon in the next video bye bye have a nice day everyone